Hi. Again. Um, <clears throat> it's half ten on Thursday the 28th of April and I am so tired. I've also got pseudocrem up my nostril because I've got like a sore spot, like a sore patch. Like, you know when it goes kind of raw? I've got that. So I'm trying to like soothe it with pseudocrem but I don't know if it will work or not. Um, I kind of love to have this freedom of um, being able to come on to my laptop, literally just click the record button and start talking. It's uh, It feels like a freedom that I've never known before, um, weirdly. I don't really know how to describe it. Um, it feels really just comfortable and me. <laughs> um, I, I find it good. It's good. <laughs> um, I, 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 I really have no idea, like, what people would even, like, do with these videos. <clears throat> I mean, like, I say do, like, you watch them and you watch and either enjoy or don't or whatever. To be fair, it really doesn't matter to me. Like, I'm not, I'm not trying to become, like, a YouTuber and, like, internet celebrity or anything. Um, I really wouldn't want that. It's, like, quite okay, thanks. Um, just, I just love this freedom of speech and um, letting out everything from a constantly crazy brain. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I thought I would come and chat about something fun, um, but I don't know what. <laughs> what is fun? What's fun? Hmm. What is fun? <laughs> I should know this. Fun is not drinking alcohol and being the best version of yourself. <laughs> um, how about uh, plants? Plants. Do we love plants? Oh, I love plants. I've got this absolute bad boy here. Oh, quite heavy. He's growing a lot. Gosh, he's doing so well. I'm so proud of this tree. Um, I moved it from. Oh, oh so cute. Oh, he's so fluffy. Um, I, I moved it from um, the table where it was in like direct, direct sunlight. Um, and I think it was being like scorched. And he was doing fine. Um, but he was also struggling a little bit. Um, he, he was losing leaves at quite a rapid rate. Um, but then I thought that might have just been the seasons. But um, <clears throat> look at look at how bushy and healthy. Like since I've moved him over here, um, and just give him like bits of water each day, like um, more water in. Um, often rather than one big water um, seems to do this this little guy really good really well um, and his leaves are just so beautiful oh gosh you are gorgeous oh just lost one. <laughs> oh, but it's not an easy oh she's really soft and shiny compared to the rest look at that oh you can see how shiny that is <laughs> I love it anyway won't hurt you. <laughs> so there's that one, which, gosh, it really is beautiful. Um, it says on the label it's called Polysychias. Pol Polysychias, I guess it is. But I, I actually think when you look it up, it's not that, um, it's not called that. It has a different name. Maybe not. 
Polisius, Polisius tree, I think. Polis, Polisius. Oh, they are kind of heart shaped. Ah, oh, the leaves are kind of heart shaped. That's really cute. That's beautiful. Um, likes to stand in a shady spot and needs a little water. Yeah, it's done really well in the shade. Um, and well, it's shaded, but it still gets some light. Um, and then less water, just little bits. Um, yeah. Oh, so proud of it. <laughs> and then I've got, um, I've got this absolute um dream of a plan. I mean it's um so it's obviously a terrarium um but like um I've had it for I maybe is it one or two years like a year I mm, I can't remember. Um, it was a gift, it was a birthday present. Um so thank you to person who knows they've got me this if you ever watch it. Um just trying to get some water up to the moss at the side. Look at look so um when I first got this the the plants were fairly like small. <laughs> um the moss was just there around the sides. This was just like inside contained um and now it like it is fully overgrown like i trim these i've trimmed these twice over the past couple of months um but they still just keep growing back loads um, and it's in a really good spot um i love i love these plants oh it's brilliant isn't it i love the way the mosses grow up the sides as well and look at the network of um roots at the bottom can you see you can kind of see i like the stones around the outside just mean oh look at those roots there oh i love it i love it oh it's so cute so cute um and then i have this one which god i've had this for quite a while um, and I'm not really sure how to look after it very well, but it seems to continue to grow. I mean, what is it? It's an aloe, I think. Oh, no. Um, Alocasia amazonica. Oh, it actually tells me how much water it needs. I don't give it enough water. That's probably why it doesn't grow as, as much. Usually it flowers each year. It'll get like a thing coming out the middle and it's, um, and it's like super long. Uh, then it has like flowers at the end, it's really cute, but it's uh, it's not doing that this year, it's probably because I haven't been giving it enough water, so I think I should probably do that. Um, I've got my cactus, which, oh I love this cactus, and listen, Can you hear that? Oh, can you hear that? It's like, it's like water. It's kind of trickling and running. I need like a ASMR microphone. <laughs> That'd be better. But it is just beautiful. I mean, look at it. Like, gosh, it's gorgeous. Oh, wobbly. Look how wobbly it is. <laughs> can you see how wobbly? <laughs> Oh, I've got so much to show you. Um, okay, this this one. Um, sorry, I'm just like in a pair of tights. <laughs> um, this. I think. I mean, it is a cactus. Um, it's sort of like a succulent. Uh, maybe. Oh, it's cool though. It's really cool. I've had this for a while as well. My mom got me this one. Um as a present and it's never been repotted or anything um but i think yeah the roots are coming out the bottom so maybe 
the thing is I didn't want to repot it because it fits perfectly into this hole you see um, <clears throat> and it seems to do pretty well maybe it doesn't need it because it's perfectly good as it is um, yeah I love this one cute <laughs> for the next one um, this one I think I'm killing it I'm on my mother's website and I'm definitely killing it it's, it's dying <laughs> It was doing fine and then I uh, I gave it a load of new soil but I gave it soil from the front garden and I, it's just really not suited to this particular plant so I think I need to get some better soil um, and then it'll come back to life because it's really struggling it's, it's going like uh, dry kind of like it's like shriveling up you don't like a shriveled up plant do you? It's um it's no good. Um and I just feel mean like I pulled the sticker off on how to treat it, how to look after it, so I feel really bad now. Oh, I, I, my favourite ever plant that I had. It was called like elephant ears. That was the common name for it. Um it was doing incredible. It had like loads of new shoots, it had all these big beautiful leaves. And then I don't know what I did. I, I don't know if I repotted it or changed the soil or something or changed its position. Um, but I killed it and I was deeply heartbroken when I killed that plant. Oh, its leaves were gorgeous. Oh, I was so sad. And I haven't been able to get a new one since because it just, well, it's not going to replace that one, is it? Like, you can't. Oh, you can't fill a hole with something the same as and it be the same right it's a different plant it has a different soul <laughs> no probably not <laughs> um, what else have I got these are all homemade things that I did um, with the honeysuckle from outside and this has been like a week now this has done really well. Oh, this is so much better than those clay pots. Oh, I'm not clay pot. Oh, no, 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 no. That's really cute. Um, that's kind of funny when it's done. And then this, this is actually part of my project, uni at the moment. I made it. Um, I made the little structure. It's really heavy, so I'm just going to keep it away from my laptop. Um, it's got like a washing line with a thing hanging. It's got this little like wooden structure that I made by hand. Um, it's got plants growing. It's got mosses. I got these mosses from my job and they've, they've like bound into this soil really well. Um, and the plants are actually like growing. Look, like, look at their roots. I'm really super mega impressed. Whoa, look at the underneath of it. That's so cool. Whoa, I hadn't even looked at that. Oh my god, and this one as well. And like, these are like weeds, right? Um, these are uh, mosses and weeds that I take off the top of the plants that I'm repotting at work. Um, and <clears throat> they go in a compost bin and then they get put in the compost pile. So they don't get like destroyed or thrown away. They'll just get made into compost which um it's only the tops of the, the plants um the soil sorry and uh i saved a load a couple of weeks ago and made this and put these plants in and they're, they're like they're doing so well yeah it's really cool it's really cool and i think and that's it um i got quite a few more back home at um, my parents' house, which they're looking after, thankfully. Um, but yeah, they're, they're just really lovely to have houseplants. Like, you know, if you if you can't get out in nature, or you're not near nature, um, having houseplants really does um, lift the spirit. If you look after them, definitely if you look after them. Um, no, they're cute. <laughs> Good night.